Hey guys. Hello, hello. Happy, Happy Friday. Friday. Um, it's Alex and Taylor here yet again for another in IG Live. Um, what were you saying? I don't know. <laughs> uh, thanks for joining us. We are talking about Tibby today. If you guys um, have not heard yet, we are able to sell our Tibby pieces online, which makes it just super easy for you guys to shop the pieces that we have. Um, we're really excited about it. So today we are featuring all of our spring Tibby pieces. Yeah. And um, yeah, Alex is going to walk with you guys through. Oh my God. Okay, wait. Start over. Alex is going to walk you through some styled outfits that she pulled, and we have a lovely model here with us today. Mariel is back again, yes. so we are going to walk you through some fun transitional pieces and looks, um, and just super wearable pieces with Tippy. Yeah. Um, and yeah, so starting up first, um, Mariel is wearing the mesh boyfriend tee. It's sheer. And I paired it back to the Sid jeans. These are the petite version, meaning that they're not the full length. Um, and for size reference, she's wearing the extra small on the top and a size 25 in the denim. I think we have a 25 and maybe 26 left. Um, but again, this is a newer silhouette for Tibby this year, um, the Sid jean. It's really great. And then I just paired it back. Um, I love a mesh tee as kind of like an underpinning with a nice outer piece, whether it's a blazer as Taylor's wearing or just a nice little trench coat. And I like the color story here of the mint and khaki together. I just thought it was really pretty and just feels super wearable. I think this top on the hanger just looks a little overwhelming. So I wanted to make it really wearable. I did a full tuck here with the jean. Um, and yeah, just kept it really simple. Yeah, and this is the rag and bow trench. I'm obsessed with it. I'm trying to talk myself out of buying it. Perfect for today. <laughs> it's perfect for today. If you were mobile, it was a rainy day. So anyways, this is look one. I'm really loving these pieces from Tibby so far. And then next, I'm gonna have Ariel put on this little fun suit. Um, um, and we can talk through what we're wearing too. Yeah. Um, Alex and I personally own several Tibby pieces. This is the um, this is the Liam blazer. It's a classic. Uh, we've got it in dark stone and black. Um, and then I've got the sheer tee on. I can show you guys. Uh, Mariel just had it on the mint, and this is um, the tee in black. I think I'm actually gonna get this one. This is next on my list because I really like, um, I really like that it's sheer and a little bit sexy, but I like the silhouette of the sleeves because it feels a little sporty. And yeah, um, I'm wearing the navy tibby vest. I'm actually quite obsessed. Just buttoned it one, um, and then I paired it back to the tropical wool trouser in black. Um, I'm wearing them in size 10, so they're definitely oversized, but they're kind of a lower rise, which I really like. And then a style hack is I clap, clap. Yeah, we want to talk you guys through some um, style hacks for Tibby too. Yeah. Uh, the pants are super long, and um, I own these pants that Alex is wearing, and I got mine hemmed. But if you don't have time to get them hemmed, or you like them kind of long, we have these little clips that we ordered off of Amazon. They're like a little... It's gonna be hard to see, but they're like a little pin. And do you want to turn around so you can see it? So Alex has them literally like pinned here so that they don't drag on the ground. And then you can like take it off, take it off. So they look good. full length in the front, but they're not dragging in the back, which I really love. I did not check the weather today, so I'm wearing sandals. So, my yeah. bad. Um, <laughs> okay. Next, I love this like spring version of a suit in here. She's wearing the navy Tibby blazer that I'm wearing. I believe you're wearing it in a size eight, um, just so it's a little oversized on you. And then she's also wearing the tropical wool trousers in black, and I just paired it back to a Nilly Lowen belt with silver hardware just to kind of accentuate it. I love belting things that you don't have time to hem or get taken in. Um, or even with anything you want them to fit just right in a quick, easy way. I love throwing out a belt with this, and I just, yeah, the vest makes it feel like seasonal and for spring, 
and it's just really chic. I was kind of inspired by Victoria Beckham for this. There's a really famous photo of her in like a navy vest and trouser that I love. So I threw that on with this, and yeah, I love that. I cannot talk to I know, guys, it's been a long <laughs> week. It's been a long week. Thanks for bringing with us. Yeah, but anyways, the close up of the vest again, Millie Blazer, or Millie Belt in the <laughs> trouser, I just feel like it's super easy. And then another one of our picks that we're obsessed with is, of course, the Marlin Blazer. We have it in black and navy. And this is definitely a more tailored blazer compared to the Liam that Taylor's wearing. I love the elbow cutouts on this blazer. It just feels super modern and super different than a typical blazer. So, yeah. I personally own both. Like, yes. Yeah. <laughs> really I have the Liam, my mom has the Marlin, and she's obsessed. So, this is another great little suiting, again, transitional because if you get hot, can easily take the blazer off and just wear the vest and still feel a little bit more formal. So that is look number two. Next, I'm gonna highlight this crepe gauze racer back tank. This is a really great like summer piece. I'm obsessed with it. So I was just gonna throw it on with the trouser as well. Mm -hmm. Um, one of the <laughs> style hacks that we just saw um, Amy from Tibby post was about the ring on the back of these blazers yeah. and threading a sweater. Well, that one is on the She said that the ring has a purpose, and like I use mine like to hang up my blazer all the time. But she was saying that like when she's traveling, she's notorious for like dropping her sweater that she brings with her in the airport, and that this is a really great tool to use to like thread your like sweater or your scarf through a thing like and then you can kind of throw it on over your um, blazer like this it doesn't fall off you don't drop it you can kind of wear them as a scarf um, which is really cool and we love using sweaters as um, style tools so I love I love like navy the navy black yeah too. I don't know if you guys can tell this is a navy and black Sit. And I love this navy with black. Um, just like I love mixing brown and black together, and people are like, no, I'm going to do that. I love those contrasting yeah. darker colors together. It just feels really fun. But yeah, yeah, I love a navy and black. Okay. Next is that racer back tank. I don't know if you can see, but it has a fun rib detail if you want to come a little closer. Yeah. It's a fun little lightweight piece. Another great underpinning, I think, for summer as well. And yeah, it's a nice, just like simple piece. I kept it simple with the tropical wool trousers and again, the belt, and it just felt really easy. And just, you can style this easily with a sneaker, a sandal, or a heel. Um, and this is a great piece to transition to from like day to night. Throw on a blazer, but then take it off if you wanna go out for a little night out in the town. So obsessed with that. Next, we're gonna feature this sweater. Kate, our owner, was wearing it to our little spring soiree yesterday. By the way, shout out to all of you guys that Thank enjoyed you. our little spring For soiree. Me. Yeah, it was great. Yeah, we definitely want to be better about incorporating all of our online customers. So if you have any other ideas for events for you guys, we'd love to do that for you guys but this is the featherweight cashmere sand sweater so mary was going to throw this on because this is a really special piece and i don't think we've highlighted it enough so mm -hmm. i'll throw that on um, let us know if you guys have any sizing questions um all of these pieces are shoppable on our website now yes. which just we're so happy about so um take advantage of that if you don't see your size or you have sizing questions let us know we'll probably be placing some reorders soon um we we can do some special orders so yes. let us know and yeah. um, i definitely think i need to add a special i know what's next on your list like what's your what's your favorite piece right now hmm. well right now i really want this trench coat because i'm going to japan and it's supposed to be rainy but if I were to buy another to do these, I honestly think it would be these trousers. What is our model doing for a bra under the white tank? Okay, so our model is just doing little like um, nipple. Are they just nipple yeah, covers? they're like nipple covers um, under stickers. her tank and under the sheer top. Um, you could easily do like a nude bra though mm -hmm. and just like tighten the straps so they're like sturdy and not slipping off. Um, I have like a, a black mesh under mine. Um, 
yeah, you could kind of play around with that. I think a white or a navy bra okay. would work well. So there's the sweater. Yeah, this is the sweater. We currently have this in three colors: black, navy, and camel. I believe we only have a size large left, but this is a really great lightweight cashmere sweater. Um, I think it's a really fun transitional piece. The best part of it is it has these little cutouts, and then of course you can actually remove the sleeving. Um, yeah. Christina, how light is the sweater? It's their featherweight cashmere, so it's pretty thin and light, but still warm. Um, it's not sheer. Yeah, and then the next part is you can definitely remove the sleeving here, um, which I think is fun. Kate was definitely playing around with this in our event yesterday, um, and I loved how she was wearing it just like three different ways. Then of course, if you wanted, you can always wrap this around. Um, and you have kind of like a scarf slash sweater vest situation, <laughs> which I love. I just think that this piece is so versatile and so cute and cool. Um, okay, next she's going to throw on this lantern skirt. This is the ply silk lan lantern skirt in navy, and I'm going to throw it back to the navy vest. white look, monochromatic white look, and then um, 
you tie it around your waist. I feel like that's just so chic and cool. Favorite sweater. Yeah, Lizzie, it's one of our favorite sweaters too, just because it's it's something different. I feel like that's why we love Tibby. Um, but they make so much sense in your wardrobe. So you can just use them very practically and as tools in your wardrobe, which we love. So this is probably on the top of my list of favorite things, actually, right now. Um, yeah, anyone else have any other questions? We're here. What are you guys doing for the weekend? It's Margarita Friday for um, Alex and I. So you guys can all join us, have a margarita, and think of us. Okay. Sorry, guys. <laughs> I'm like, what There's else? So many <laughs> um, okay. Another fun piece to highlight as well is going to be the Barracuski chain. I love these jeans. I have them and my mom has them. They're a fun modern take. They have a fun like pleated, close pleated detail on the bottom and they have a mixed match pocket on the back as well. I also paired it back to the cashmere tube top. This is going to be one of my tried and true pieces from Tibby. I think it's a really fun underpinning. Also, especially in the summer, as you might have a little chilly night, it is pretty warm. You don't have to do a lot with it, and it's just a really fun layering piece as well. Mm -hmm. So these jeans here, you can see like the modern tank on the pockets, which I really love. I saw a really chic woman in the airport wearing these, and I just like had to get them after it. I was sold. But I'm obsessed. These are a really fun jean. If you haven't tried the Barracuzzi, you'd definitely be on my list to explore in your wardrobe because it's super fun. You should have put on the dress. Oh yeah. Let's do the t-shirt dress. That's Sorry guys, guys, bear with us. We wanted to just really show you guys some yeah. easy ways to set up some of these pieces. So. Um, we also like to have fun with with some of the pieces and their features. So like this, I'll show you guys with this Liam blazer. Um, I obviously wear it open like this, but if um, you guys don't know, it's got this extra button over here, which is really cool. You can wear it buttoned like normally, but it's got this extra button over here because it's such an oversized blazer. You guys can button it here and it gives it a more cinched in kind of waist defining mm -hmm. feature, which is really cool. I've done it this way. Um, like with nothing underneath, kind of as like a top. I've done it this way with a little biker short and tights as a dress. Um, but this is a cool feature on this blazer. And then I've also been wearing my Liam. Um, Timmy did this on their runway show when I was in New York and um, saw their runway show. The models were wearing their Liam blazers like this and I thought it was the coolest thing. It's a little funky, but like honestly, I'm obsessed with it. So I've been wearing my Liam blazer literally like one arm out and hooked like this, like the models on her runway. And I'm just wearing my blazer like this and I look like, you really love it. So you can also do that. And it's kind of just a, a different way to wear it. Cool. Okay, next is this t-shirt lantern dress. This is a really great piece if you're traveling. It just has a really fun modern shape to it. Again, you have the lantern feel as well. Um, it does have pockets. That's um, so cool. Yeah, it's just as easy. It also looks super cute with the sneaker as well. Um, I do like the like longer sleeve length here as well. But again, a really great piece. Super easy for summer and travel. I feel like a lot of you have a lot of plans this summer. So this is something to definitely add on to your wish list. Yes, that sheer black top. Oh, um, I've got a size, <laughs> I'm wearing a size small in the sheer black top. Yeah. Um, but yeah, that's kind of everything. Should I do the white crispies? Okay. Because I think those are really cool. Let's do this with this and then this one. Yeah, that's the best. Okay. Yeah. Um, and we can talk about the, because you have these. Yes. We can talk about them. These were actually my first to be purchased. So these are the crispy nylon pants in black and white. Um, I have them in black. Um, I'm obsessed with them. I think they're a really great summer pants because they have kind of a fun trouser feel to them, but they're also kind of very versatile. They, they don't work. wrinkle. They don't wrinkle. They're water resistant. Mm -hmm. and I've, literally, resistant. I've literally seen Alex spill like an entire <laughs> 
kombucha on I did see that. But yeah, literally her kombucha exploded on, on her while she was wearing these. And she just like wiped it off with a paper towel and we were good to go. Can you explain how to play around with the elbow cutouts of the blazers? Yeah. I own um I can go to the Marlon. I own the Marlon blazer in black with the elbow cutout. And this one I think is the navy one, yeah. Honestly, I think it's such a cool feature just on its own um, with a top underneath. Like I love the, um, I love the mint sheer top underneath the navy blazer. I think it's such a cool color combo. But I wear mine like this all the time. Um, I've, I, I have a few clients who are a little unsure about the cutouts, especially if they're wearing it in a more traditionally professional setting and what I've been doing is styling them with like a long sleeved, like a, a long sleeved black turtleneck or a long sleeved um, navy top underneath to where you can't tell that there's an elbow cut out because it's such a great fitting blazer. And then when they're wearing it in a more like casual, low key setting, they can wear the cutouts like that. So I've been styling people that way. Um, I think, you can also you can also put your arms through the holes, and it's kind of the same concept as the sweater, where you have your arms out, um, and then it's just kind of like a little sleeve detail like that. Um, I'm trying to think, I feel like that's just how we've been styling the cutouts. So I think it's a really cool feature on the blazer. Yeah. Okay. Next is the black like sweater here, I put it on with a Tibby t-shirt, um, just to kind of show more than the sweater vest feel to it. And then here are the crispy wide leg pants in white. They have a fun feature, they have obviously a utility pocket on the side here, and on the other side as well. I think I pulled you the zero. Um, so you can also, I have these and I actually size down just so that they would kind of be higher rise um, on me personally. I didn't want these ones low rise, but I love the reflective material. Again, I love mixing up the cashmere with this material. It just changes it up and it's different. So this is kind of how I would wear these as I transition into really full long spring. Um, someone's asking how the pants run. I would say true to size if you want them to fit higher, like mid-rise, I guess. I would go with your yeah. true size. If you want them to fit lower, size lower up. Size up. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah. But that's kind of everything that we wanted to highlight. Obviously, you guys can see the extensive look of everything from Tibby online. And if you guys, since you guys are watching live with us on Instagram, if you for whatever reason want to re-watch any of these videos, they're all available on our website on the little tab on the upper right corner. I think it's called Two Laughter Hours or Two Alive. Two Alive. Two Alive. And you can just click and all of our live videos are there on the website permanently for you guys to re-watch as many times as you need, especially if you have travel coming up and you forgot about what we suggested for Europe or whatever. We have some fun travel edits on there for you guys. Um, but we love doing these videos for you guys and we hope they're helpful. Um, and we've been doing it with a model this time and it's usually nice to like talk about every piece and not have to yeah. like, change luster to like <laughs> try all of the stuff. So yeah, it's been really fun and we hope you guys have a wonderful weekend and yeah. I'll be in the store tomorrow so if you guys need anything, I'll be here so you guys can just call. Thanks guys. Yeah. Happy Friday. Thank you. Bye. Bye.